Welcome back to the StockSessions.com. This is session two. We'll pick up where we left off on the first session, which is really getting to know each other, getting to know what stocks are, and kind of just the basics. So for a starting point, I like to say departure point, we all get at the same point. We all go in different directions from there. But let's have a common foundation, a common start, and move forward on this path to knowledge and knowing about the stocks and about the market itself. So we'll compare two methods. I hinted about those in the introduction, fundamental analysis, which is most popularized by, say, Warren Buffett, is probably the most famous investor, at least in our generation. That's fundamental, the other being charts, or this mean word called technical analysis. So we'll look at those and how they play together. How is the overall market doing? What is the overall market? How do we assess that? When they say the stock market did well today, what does that mean? We'll talk about that. When you can invest in the overall market, can you do that? Can you just, do you have to pick stocks or can you just buy the market? Actually, you can. Saves a lot of steps doing that, just buying the market. You can do that through what's this other big term called mutual funds. Just mutual money put together. It's somebody that picks stocks for you. Cool, that works. If we're, especially if we're busy in our careers, our jobs, and it's interesting to us, but we don't exactly want to spend the time searching and analyzing, we can actually essentially pay someone or some group to do that for us. And ETF, what does that mean? We'll talk about those. It's exchange traded funds. Do you want the market itself in entirety? Cool, you can have that. It's called the ETF. And there's a symbol, just trades like a stock. It's basically the market that trades like a stock. Really, really cool new thing that we have in our trading environment now. They're actually becoming quite popular. And then how are individual investments, like stocks, bonds, those sort of things, what are they doing? And how can you invest in individual stocks? Do I even need to anymore? Have we moved beyond that? No, of course not. So you can always have a little bit of risk, a little bit of fun, and that's to me is fun picking the stocks, but just kind of watching your environment and seeing what companies are interesting to you, whatever industry you work in, the jobs you have, that's gonna give you information for stocks to pick. So same thing, there's two methods in this session. In this particular session two, we'll talk about identifying good opportunities. Not just hearing a tip, you know, Google's gonna do well tomorrow, ah, or Google's a really good stock. Not like that, don't listen to tips. You do that yourself and find opportunities. But I think even more importantly than making the money is protecting the money that you have. I mean, if you work a full-time job and you saved up some investment, you don't wanna lose that. And in the stock market, you actually can. You can lose money. It's not just this big get rich quick scheme. Be nice if it were, but it's not. So I think protection, if you are to play in the stock market game and do well and to find these opportunities, identify pitfalls and dangers and things that can go wrong. And they certainly can. The bear markets of 2008, 2003, and even way before that, the stock market crash of 1929, all those things wiped out people's equities and wiped out everything. We'll learn how not to do that. And really the goal of what we're talking about is efficiency and quickness. So not just look at a newspaper or a website nowadays and see all these numbers and statistics and ratios and math and just throw our hands up in disgust. It's not what we want to do. So efficient, quick, and simple. Remember, Wall Street professionals, keep this in mind too, that Wall Street professionals, uh, they work in large teams. So you doing this by yourself with your family, uh, whatever else you have, maybe some friends. I started in college with a group of friends we put together that sort of picked stocks and you know, kept our motivation up and kept, it was fun, made it fun for us, but it was a small team. But professionals, that's a thing we always talk about. They work in large teams. And they're not just random people off the street. They went to school for this. They have years of experience and training. So don't think we can compete with them, but don't also let that intimidate you. So you'll analyze, they'll actually analyze the market all day long. That's what they do all, to, all day. That's their professional job. We don't have their resources, so we have to take those shortcuts. That's what StockSessions.com, that's what we're talking about here, will actually help you with those shortcuts. So you know, where in the world do I start? Goodness, what do I do? All the balance sheets, everything we talked about, all the companies, Google, Yahoo, McDonald's, Burger King, uh, you name the company out there, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, just pick an industry, say 
you know, restaurants. How many restaurant stocks are there? What about real estate stocks? What about healthcare stocks? So on and so forth. Just the companies themselves are just too many of them. So what do I do about that? Too much info. So let's start, kind of take a breath, figure out what the main methods of analysis are. And again, that's company analysis, price analysis, or chart analysis. And just that's another theme, take it one step at a time. The ability to use this on your own without a team and without doing this all day long. It wouldn't be fun if our job was to do this in the sense if we do something else. So that's what we're going to do is make it simple and accessible to you. So this, if you think about stock market or investment, this is what you're probably going to get bombarded with. If you go to a library and say, what is investing? This is the type of thing they're going to teach you. There's actually a book called Securities Analysis. It literally is that big. It's a great book. If you want to read it, that's fine. But it's about the size of War and Peace. It's literally hundreds upon hundreds of pages about how to do just this, which is analyze a stock. The goal, what they're trying to do, is to answer a simple question. How much is this company worth? And essentially the share or what the stock is trading for is that, we'll see it shortly, but is it overvalued? Is the stock higher than what the math tells you? In that case, we don't want to buy those stocks. Or is it the price undervalued? If the stock is undervalued and they say the valuation is here at 50 per share and the company trades at 20 per share, well, that's something we want to buy. That's entirely the goal of everything Earnings, valuations, ratios, debt, management, revenue, competition, all these can go on and on for dozens of other words that essentially confuse the average public. And so that's what we're looking for in fundamentals. That's, you know, again, Warren Buffett, thinking of those terms. The other, which became more easy for me, it's easier for you, it's easier for new investors and traders. We're going to focus most of our time on this. It's basically price analysis. Don't worry about, not so much don't worry about, of course, but focus your time, your limited time for that matter, on this type of method. And this is ask, asking one question. Asking one question, is the stock trending? That's really it. Don't worry too much. Price patterns, indicators, etc. And if you really go to the extreme, which is pure technical analysis, they don't really care about the company itself. They look at price, history, trends, patterns, indicators, so on and so forth, uh, algorithms, math, and they figure out buy and sell signals, particularly with respect to trends, uptrend, downtrend. We'll cover these lots and lots as we go through. And they're answering this question, is the stock, whatever it is, whatever it does, to them it doesn't matter that much, on a buy signal or a sell signal? So quickly to conclude, the fundamental answers the question, what? Which company? Google, Amazon, Yahoo, whatever the other companies, search engines or phone companies, whatever you're looking at, tech companies, what? What do you want to invest in? Great, okay, that's what that's there for. It doesn't really tell you when to buy. It tells you what to buy, which is going to be a strong company with a competitive advantage. Don't worry too much. The chart world, the technical world, tells you when to buy, when to add shares. And of course, here's this thing that Fundamental doesn't tell you, when to sell or remove from your portfolio, and charts identify stocks in uptrends, buy them on pullbacks, or to be more complex, chart signals. So which is better? I morphed into a hybrid approach, did the study of the chart, study of the company itself, move the charts, they're both important. There's nothing to say one is better. But if you don't do this full time, I would highly recommend do a quick company comparison. It is important. Don't just ignore it. But then go to the charts, which will show you how. Identify uptrends and then go from there.